today I want to talk to you about a rhythm activity I created for teenagers um, that could be worked with either groups or individuals to work on either rhythmic skills, motor skills, or connecting and drumming together, working on kind of socialization, community building. So for this activity, I made a fortune teller. I'm part of the Creative Therapy Umbrella community, and Kate sends out these awesome resources. Um, so I'll link her community below, and one of them was a fortune teller um, template. It's a little, a little loved, a little crumpled, but still very functional. And um, I took her template, and in it, I wrote a bunch of different groupings of rhythms with eighth notes, quarter rests, and quarter notes. And so what I, what I did is I had the group, I had bucket drums, and after we warmed up and after we introduced each note value on its own and kind of the different sounds and space that they hold, I took out my fortune teller, had everyone pick a color. So let's say we go for purple. P U R P L E, and then they can pick a number. We got three, four, seven, eight. So with three, now we have T T T T T T rest. And if rhythms are kind of new for students or group members um, or clients, I tend to use the ta for a quarter note, T T for eighth note, and rest. Um, other students also prefer using numbers, so we could go one and two and three and four. And then as a group, we play that um, together. I'll loop it. I'll, I like to do a cue that's, can you copy me? And then we go into the loop, drumming together, and then uh, the next member of the group gets a turn. Or if you're one-on-one, -on -one, you do so a few more until, until you want to either move on or um, just as many times as you and your client desire. Um, so it's super fun. I feel like the fortune teller could also be something you created with a client if you had time or with a group if you had time. And maybe they came up with their own rhythms. So then there's a little bit of composition involved in the game too. Um, totally up to you. I just thought that this was a really fun new way to present rhythms where clients have a bit of choice presented as well too, but also kind of choice and surprise since you're not sure what will be behind door number three. Um, and just add that kind of game aspect because I feel like especially teenagers or a lot of even my younger kids too, they're very motivated by games versus just like presenting a rhythm. And so the more we can bring in that playful game element, uh, the more engaged and involved and active um, my clients and students tend to be. So that was a really fun thing I did with some, a teenage group this month and really enjoyed um, presenting to them and getting to drum with them. And all I did was put some rhythms in a little fortune teller. And it really was kind of a throwback for me making it. Um, and, and and then asking like, have you seen this before? Like, um, and getting that kind of response from clients and um, interaction and connection uh, was really valuable as well. I'm sure you could Google templates online and make your own and fill in with your own either rhythms or if this sparks another idea, let me know in the comments below what you'd put in your fortune teller for your clients or students. And um, let me know if you end up using this activity. I'd love to know if it was helpful. Um, it was a lot of fun for my clients and I hope that it can be fun for your clients as well. So if you enjoyed this video, I post a new video every Tuesday. Sometimes it's original songs and ideas, sometimes it's activities that are going well, and I'm also posting some previous episodes of my podcast, Navigating Adulthood and IDD, so they got a place on YouTube as well. Uh, so please subscribe if that sounds interesting to follow along and is a good resource for you, and please like and share with anyone you think would enjoy this video as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.